Hey guys, I'm Levi Gates for The Rag Company, and welcome to Detox, but with me, Mr. Rennie Doyle. What's up, brother? How you doing, hey, man. man? Good to see you. And Mr. Dave Phillips. Levi, great. Uh, p Sales. Thanks Thank for coming, Thank you so man. much. Yeah. Oh, appreciate it. So we, uh, we're just having a little fun while you guys are up here. Yeah. We're going to do a little event. We're going to have some fun. We've been get, we got to have Dave on the podcast, so that was rad. Very is he, is he a smart dude or what? He's, yeah, he was, but he brings it down to where normal guys can understand it. He was trying his hardest to keep us yeah, uh, ahead, so we didn't dig too hole, dig too far of a hole for us. But one of the cool things that we wanted to talk about one is the fact that we've got you from PNS, mm -hmm. we've got Bob Eichelberg back here from Flex, and we've got Rennie here, and you guys are here at the Rag Company. Right. So technically, we've got four companies hanging out, three companies and a rep. Right. Yeah. But because you, you do, you do both companies, do. and it's very it's 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 a new thing. You don't see that as often to have a person that can represent two companies, two ideals, but it is part of a greater uh, I don't know a sense of service purpose right. purpose yeah. purpose right because it's it's one thing that I've noticed that we have kind of done as well is we try and partner with other companies yeah. to create this kind of camaraderie, create this friendship. We joked that we went on a trip back east, and it wasn't a business. And I was trying to explain it to somebody, and they're like, what'd you do? I was like, well, we went back east for a show, and we were with this company and this company, but we were at this company doing this. But it was like we were all just on a vacation with some friends. That's it. You That's know? how it is. And, we, but it's, I love that about this camaraderie in the industry. It's really cool because I work, you know, working with, with Flex and, and P&S, is Dave giving me the freedom is like even in our trainings yeah is okay I've got you know a product line with my name on it right right so everybody thinks coming in okay you're gonna train on just that no both flex and PNS really want me to be Switzerland they want me to train on the best products and tools out there and let people make their own decision yeah. on what they like and how cool is that and it really keeps us our, our, our feet to the fire of developing products and tools that work mm -hmm. because if not the other guys are going to outshine us so to say yeah and so to work with companies that allow me the freedom to still as an artist as a as a technician as a business owner as an entrepreneur and then really as a car guy yeah. you know just somebody that's you know my my skill sets are secondary to i think what's catapulted me to the top is i just i'm you car nuts. Car. yeah you like being I'm around crazy them. yeah right and so to work with these two companies that allow me to express that freedom and use a whole range of different uh, tools and equipment and products is it's a blessing for me too. Yeah. And in its return, it gives them a really open opinion of what we're doing right and what we might not be on target with. Yeah. So it's exactly. really fun. So what Bob and Rennie have done <clears throat> is they've uh, they've cooked up uh, basically a tagline to. Bring, to, to bring everybody together, lift everybody up, which has basically been our philosophy for quite some time now, is that the entire detail industry is, is growing. You guys were just discussing earlier about how SEMA, 10 years ago, there were no detailers at, at yeah. SEMA. Yeah. Or at the car wash shows, there were no detailers at car wash shows. And raising the entire level up and raising the professional level of all the detailers is in everybody's interest. Yeah. And it doesn't really matter that much Whose, whose product you're using, whose, who's, um, we just want everybody to grow. Well, I, and I think there's, maybe is, I think this is just innate in humans. Right. We all have our teams. Yeah. I'm a Red Sox fan. There you go. I'm very excited I'm that they're in the ALCS <laughs> right now. So go Sox. But we all have our teams, right? That's it. And as a, I don't know, I think it boils down in a different way also with detailers is like, you feel like there's these teams that are, the lines are just drawn. like. You know, I only use these products right. and these tools, right. or I only do this and I only touch this. And there, and the, and I noticed it as a detailer. I noticed it. I could see that. Right. Um, but what I love, and the reason, one thing I love about like the IDA and that reasoning is that it's all the manufacturers. You get in right. and you see the founders club or the board of directors, and you see the these heads and reps of different companies all coming together for the greater good of trying to push the industry. And Similar to what your brother Bob and Rennie are doing is this is this new hashtag, detailing industry strong. Right, and so we get these uh, little bracelets that are right. on there. Um, but it goes back to that. It's, it's not having a team. We're all on the same team. We are. 
And when, when we start taking in one detail at a time, and that's basically, listen, I was real harsh on, on the IDA. I'd watched in my yeah. long career, so many different organizations come up and try their best and then, and then fail us as an industry. That the, the IDA and, and, and PNS, Dave and Bob were huge uh, motivators of this. Yeah. Is that these guys, I watched them from afar. And, and then I started, it's the first time in my career, I'd seen all of these original team players, and Bob and Dave are definitely part of that. They weren't doing it for ego. They're yeah. doing it to leave a legacy of success behind when we're all done with our careers. Yeah. And I was blown away. And so we jumped in, you know, both feet forward. And I think that the idea, Bob called me up, I'll give full credit to him and said, hey man, I'm thinking about doing something that really unites the industry. And I'm thinking about this hashtag, Detail Industry Strong. What are you thinking? I went, damn, that's good. Yeah. And so, you know, we passed it by Bob, we passed it by Keith, we passed it by, you know, you guys, and, and here we are. And so at SEMA, you know, PNS made the investment in these, these, these bands. And it's, it's really taking in just a visual on saying, hey, I'm going to stand up with the industry. I'm going to hold myself to a higher level. And I expect you two to do the same thing. Yeah. That's what this is about, is well, all of us uniting. And us as an industry, whether we're you know, manufacturers, suppliers, distributors, uh, the goal is, at the end of the day, is education to our customers. That's it. And if we can provide the highest level of education, the highest level of quality and products for our customers to use, which are our customers, which are detailers mm -hmm. and business owners, um, they're they're going to be passing that same level on to their customers. And the goal is that, you know, you and I have fought for years to try and get out of the shadows of detailing. Right. You know, right. and make this an actual, it's a, we're craftsmen. We're artists. We're not just a dude that washes cars. That's it. You not know, a bucket try and, brigade. Try and bring it up a little bit so, and show like, no, we're not just washing your car, man. Like we're doing things, we're fixing things. We have knowledge, we have capability, we have education, we have all this stuff. And we're trying to change that for our guys to be able to make a good living and be able to provide for their families and be able to you know, put food on the table, uh, but also provide a successful business. Because there was a lot of burnouts. There was a lot wow. of guys that just, guys and girls that would come into the industry, they just couldn't hack it. They couldn't handle it, they couldn't put up with it. You know, they just, they're in and out. And it was hard to find work. You well, find workers, you know, good I, workers. I just put on a webinar and I explained it like this. I said a lot of detailers come in as a, a hurricane, yeah. or they come in as these the, this torrential uh, uh, war path of wind. Come into the business as a breeze. Yeah. Come in as a gentle breeze. Learn, take your time, build your business up on solid foundation, and just keep adding to that. And before you know it, you're going to be successful and happy. And you know what? It's going to push the guy, the people that don't want to be professional. It's going to push them out. It's going to squeeze them out, and it's going to rise to the top. And the whole industry is going to come to it. And I applaud companies like PNS and Flex uh, and many others. You yeah, know, I'm, I'm selfish because they pay the bills. <clears throat> I'd like to add to that because obviously this is the philosophy of detox. Yeah, you right. guys set a whole tone, right. a new yeah. tone. Where, yeah. where we're not, we're not, we're just looking at products. We're looking at things. We're showing. We're educating. Yeah. We're yeah, you don't, you don't have that, you know, you're not selling. No, and that's the whole goal of this show is that it's, <clears throat> it's a detoxes discussion talk show. That's it. That's what it is, a detailing right. talk show. We're having a discussion about products, about equipment, yeah. about how to make more money, how to, you know, how to take better care of yourself, yeah. how to take Amen. better care of your employees. Amen. To, right. I mean, every, you go through our entire list, it's that same thing. And our goal is to educate and maybe help those guys out there that, because I was a guy who had a, who had a shop, worked in a shop, and the only outlet I had for detailing was a guy in a truck. Right, that that's would it. come by. Hey, yeah. if you uh, try this product, okay, I'll try it. You know. And at one point, when I started to figure out, oh, there's a bigger world outside detailing. There's there's you know suppliers. There's different companies. They make this. There's different pad manufacturers. There's different tool manufacturers. All of a sudden. This the you know I kind of get into a rebirth and yeah. learn. It was like oh, there's a lot of knowledge out there, and there's a lot of guys that have that knowledge, and I want to learn from them, and I want to see what they're doing, you know. And it was it was that want and that need, and all of a sudden I was hungry for it because I needed I wanted all of it. But it helped 
educate me and it helped me understand what I needed to be as a detailer and who I needed to be as, as now as a rep for a company, as uh, you know, who I am as a personality in the detailing world That's it. Um, and what I need to be providing. You, you know, you and know and this is something I can get behind. This is something that I see and go, yeah, that's what we've been doing. That's you got all exactly. the logos on your shirts. <clears throat> right. You know, these are guys that have worked together. These are companies that work together. And it's, you know, far greater than this. Oh, you know, it's it's um, huge. It's huge. It's and you know what? It's really cool is is, is guys like Levi, you know, where you're 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 younger than me. Uh, I mean, detailing, I, I, and I don't want to discount anybody. Yeah. You've worked hard to build your business up in recent years uh, to anybody that's just starting out. But here's the reality is detailing now is nothing no. compared to what it did when I launched. You got to remember, I built up my reputation of my business to seven figures before there was an internet. Yeah. You know, and, and, and I'm not discounting anybody now, but what I'm saying is, is that guys like here at the Rag Company and, and these companies that you have on, is you guys have been the hub in a wheel that has completely blossomed, and the rag companies be behind that. I yeah. mean, you've been a Thank big you. part of it. Uh, the whole staff from the top. This is what what's cool is we're seeing companies now that this whole mentality of detail industry strong has been there. We just put a name to it. Yeah, it's, it's been yeah, there from and the gave top a little to the tagline for everybody to, to to embrace. Use. Yeah. So so now we got to go out and you know we've got to take and get the. The field guys, the guys that are in the trenches, the day-to-day -day guys, to really buy into this mentality and help each other out. You're not the enemy. Is the stronger that you guys become in a market, yeah. the better you become, the more the more vital you become, the more successful financially you become, and the better life you live. Yeah, exactly. Well, and the, one of the coolest things about it is trying to get, you know, is, is let these guys know that, like, we're in this for them. Yeah, that's exactly you it. You know, the IDA... The group, all of us, the manufacturers, all of us, we don't have an industry no. if you guys don't no. buy and use the products. And if we're making junk, if we're mm -hmm. not standing behind our products, we're not standing behind the, the chemicals, the tools, the, the towels, the, the brushes, any of that stuff, you're not going to buy it. It's not going to work for you. It's it. So for all of us, it's, it's an investment in ourselves to be able to, one, provide that level of service, that quality, and that value that you want so that you can do your job to the best of your ability, but know that you can all, if you have any issues, you can always come to us and ask. And to have the companies being able to discuss that and show that is big. It's so, massive, yeah. it's massive. Well, it's really exciting. I mean, so the deal with these are is that Dave, you want to tell them how they can come and get one? So we're going to be handing these out at SEMA. This is a, a launch, and this is just a little preliminary picture for you. And a little, we're going to be passing some out tomorrow at the event. Um, so we're really excited, and uh, we really want everybody to embrace this. Uh, and, you know, all, all, all the companies. Yep. And um, we, we welcome you all. So can you mind if I put a challenge oh, go out for to it. some of the people? Go for it. Here's what I want to do. I want to talk to you guys, okay? I started with nothing. I mean, flat broke nothing. And I get emotional on this because I want to talk to you guys that think that you can't do it and the people that think that you don't have it in you, that you don't have enough money, you don't have enough brains. Yeah, you do. Stop thinking that. When you do something amazing, not just polished cars, but it could be helping out in your community. It could be taking and, and, and networking with other detailers in your area. That's what this hashtag's about, is detailing industry strong. Let's show the world what you are capable of, what we are capable of, and show them what detailing truly is. It's not just shiny paint, or it's not just taking stains out of carpet. It's detailers doing amazing things for each other, for their families, and for their communities, and for their country. So no matter what you do, or no matter where you are in the world, when you do something stand up, hashtag this. Stand up, show the world what we are, and let's uh, let's grow. Yeah, wow. I like it very much. Good job. All right, guys. Thanks, nice. hey, Levi. It. Thanks a lot, man. No. Thank thanks you. Lot. Thanks we for coming. We appreciate comment. it. As Thank always, you guys can like, share, and uh, subscribe to this. You can comment below and make sure you do what Rennie said and use that hashtag Detail Industry Strong. And as always, you guys can stay tuned for more videos right here on the Rag Company YouTube channel. Thanks.